Hi there and welcome to another video from Hegarty Maths, a call for Maths A level video. It's the sixth video on vectors where we start dealing with 3D vectors. As always, for more help with your maths, do see YouTube, Twitter or Google+. Now, this is just a reminder, it's for the Edexcel Core 4 course, but it's applicable to most other A-level modules. Looking at what Edexcel say, they want, we've done everything in green, they now want the distance between two points given by uh, like the following formula. So that's what we're going to cover in this video, and the talk about what three-dimensional vectors look like. So, to start off, here's an introduction to the notation. We now have three dimensions. We have x is across, y is up, and we have a z-axis that is sort of into the page or out of the page. So there are three dimensions here. <clears throat> now, uh, something that's going to be important in our notation is the follows. If one unit positive along the x-axis is called i, one unit positive up the y-axis is called j, and one unit positive along the z-axis is called k. So, um, we may have a point in space here. Imagine that's a point in space, and that's uh, called x. It may have the coordinates x1, x, uh, it may have the coordinates x1, y1 and z1 let's say okay now what that means uh, it means it is x1 across so it has x1 i plus y1 j plus z1 k that's how we might write it as a vector to get there or we might write it as x1, y1, z1. These are both the position vectors to get there. So this would be the vector that gets you from the origin to there, which we might call something like a little a. Okay? So we may write it like that. So in particular, I'm going to rub this out now. Imagine we had a point. Imagine we had a point in space, this is the vector A, we had a point in space 1, 4, 7. Okay, that's point A there, let's say. It was 1, 4, 7. The vector to get there, we well, could write it in different ways. The vector A, you could write it as a column vector, it's 1 across, 4, 7 from the origin, it means you have to go 1 across, 4 up, and 7 out of the page. Or you could write A as how many i's? Well, it's 1i. Plus how many j's? Well, it's 4j. Plus how many k's? It's 7k. Like that. So this is the notation we'll use for three-dimensional vectors. A bit like what we've done in 2D. However, now we're extending to a third dimension. So we've got a z component and a third dimension in that sort of form. So we've got a k component. Okay? Right. Here's the first sort of tricky concept. Um, distance of a vector. Okay. Now imagine we have a vector here. Let's call this vector two, four. I don't know. Uh, negative three. And I wanted to ask you the distance of that point from the origin. What is the distance of this line? So imagine if this was our vector a to get there. What I'm basically asking you is the, for the magnitude of A, or the distance of that line. Now, now to explain how I might work that out, the first thing I'm going to draw is I'm going to draw a little right angle triangle here, like that. Okay? And I'm also going to uh, draw the following. Now, the first thing I want you to try and think to yourself, here's a right angle triangle, this one here, and I'm trying to find this length here, which I'm calling the modulus of A. Now, this is a right angle here, because this line here is flat along the um, y, it's y equals zero, and then it goes straight up 
uh, here. So this is a right angle. So what we could do is we could use Pythagoras in three dimensions. We could firstly work out the distance of that line and then we could use Pythagoras with that height to work out the distance of that line. Now what is, uh, how could we work at this? Well again this is another right angle here and we could say look this is two across because we've gone two across and this distance here well it's three, it's three sort of along the z-axis so this is three into the page here, this is three here like that. So this distance here and um, the green distance, let's say to start with, must be equal, uh, the green distance must be equal to 2 squared plus 3 squared square rooted. That one. And now if I'm trying to work out the red distance, I've now got that, I'm going to square this, so I'm going to have 2 squared plus 3 squared, and I'm also going to add the height squared, which would be 4 squared and then I'm going to square root it. And that would be my distance there. Okay, so basically, uh, what you can say, I'm going to just generalize this, what you can say is that if you're trying to work out, let's rub this out for now, if you're trying to work out the distance of uh, a point in space from the origin, and this point here has components x, y, and z. Okay, what you can do really, what it turns out you can do, you can extend Pythagoras' theorem. This distance is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared plus z squared. You you remember Pythagoras says the distance is the square root of x squared plus y squared. Here we're just extending it for the z component. Okay, so just writing that formula down, here's the formula you need to write down here. The distance from the origin, 0, 0, 0, to a point x, y, z is given by the following formula. The distance is equal to the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. So you just need to be familiar and remember that. This, after all, is quite easy to remember. It's an extension of Pythagoras. In three dimensions. That's all it is. Okay, so let's have a go at an example. Here's a typical question. We've got a point here in space that we're saying is, I don't know, p is 4, negative 7, negative 1. It doesn't matter if it's accurate how you draw it. Okay, we're trying to find that distance there. We know by our formula that the distance is equal to 4 squared plus negative 7 squared plus negative 1 squared square rooted. Okay, so we go away in our calculator and we work that out. And you get the answer, the square root of 66. Now read the question carefully to check if it wants some significant figures. One key thing to point out here, people make mistakes here and here. If you have a distance here, you have a, po a point that is negative 7 or negative 1 on a certain axis, it's you square the whole number. Now what students tend to do, which is wrong, they might write something like this, the square root of 4 squared take away 7 squared take away 1 squared. It's not that at all because the calculator reads that take away as subtract. It would read it as 4 squared subtract 7 squared subtract 1 squared. It's not that. It's 4 squared plus negative 7 squared plus negative 1 squared, which makes a big difference as a negative number squares to a positive. Okay, So be very, very careful of making that mistake there and make sure you do it the right way. Okay, next, um, we're extending the same idea here. So I'm going to extend the same idea. Suppose we have two points, A and B, and we're trying to work out the distance between A and B. The first thing I do, I'd use a similar thing. I try and draw a triangle out there, okay, and try and make a right angle triangle. And what I try to do is I will try to show you 
that actually, if I'm trying to work out the distance between, say, this point A here was x1, y1, z1, and this distance here was x2, y2, z2, if I'm applying the same idea as I did previously when the center, when I was at the origin for point A, here I've got to think, how far across is this line? Well, if this point here is x1 and this point here is x2, this distance must be x2 minus x1. Okay? Now, if this z value here is z1 and this z value here is z2, well, then this whole distance from here to here must be z2 minus z1. And similarly here, this height, these are the three things we need to, like I did in the previous one. This height here, well if this height here is uh, y1 and this height here is y2, this height here must be y2 minus y1. Okay? So there's our height there, there's our depth into the page and there's our width. So we've got ourselves a 3D Pythagoras we can apply and the distance from the or no, from, forget that, from the point x1, y1, z1 to the point x2, y2, z2 is given by the following formula. The distance is the square root of x2 minus x1, all squared, y2 minus y1, all squared, plus z2 minus z1, all squared. So we ha we're working out how far across, the two, how, what's the difference between the two points in the in the a cross axis, what's the difference between the two points in the height, what's the difference between the two points in the depth, we're squaring those numbers and square rooting. So that's a formula you need to know. Let's apply it. Find the distance between the points uh, A is uh, that and B is that. The first thing I do, I prefer writing out the coordinates and subtracting them. I think it just makes my life a whole lot easier. And if I write them underneath each other, then it makes everything easier. 1 take away 8 is negative 7. 3 take away 6 is negative 3. 4 subtract negative 5 is 9. Then if I want the distance of AB, it's simply going to be the square root of negative 7 squared plus negative 3 squared plus 9 squared. I've done the take away in advance. And if I work that out on the calculator, it's going to be equal to, to 1 dp, 11.8, so 11.8 units, and we're done. Here's another example. You have coordinates A and B with the following uh, positions. Uh, the distance from A to B is 3 units. Find the values of K. So what I would do again, I would write A out to be 5, 0, 3. I would write b out to be 4, 2, and k. I would subtract them. So this is 5 take away 4 is 1. 0 take away 2 is negative 2. And 3 take away k is 3 subtract k. Then the distance, therefore, is going to be the square root of 1 squared plus negative 2 squared plus 3 minus k squared. Okay, so the distance is going to be, if I work this out, this would be 1 plus 4, which is 5. So I'm going to get 5 plus, if I square this out, I get 9 minus 6k plus k squared. So the distance is going to be 5 plus 9 is 14. So I'm going to have 14 subtract 6k plus k squared. Now, I also know the distance is equal to 3 units. So what I can do is I can actually replace this distance here by 3. I'm solving for k, square both sides, 9 equals 14 subtract 6k plus k squared, solve a quadratic, make that equal 0, subtract 9 of both sides, write it, the k squares first, it would be k squared subtract 6k, 14 take away uh, 9 is 5, so plus 5, and then we can factorise that, it would be k subtract 5, k subtract 1, so therefore clearly k equals 1 or k equals 5. Find the values of k, we're done. And that's all for this particular video. Just make sure you read chapter 5, 64 to 66, and do exercise 5e, questions 1 to 5. Thank you for watching.